Away from Cape Town, let's come to Joburg now, where residents of Maboning are stranded following a fire that engulfed their building. About 200 people were evacuated from this building. It went on fire, and the cause is not clear at this stage. Meanwhile, police have continued their operations in dealing with illegal mining, this time in Germiston. Reporter Pule Lututi Jones covering both stories for us today. Welcome back, Pule. It's been quite a long day. Two big stories coming out of parts of Gauteng today. First uh, in Ekurile, but they start in Maboneng, where there was a fire a few hours ago. You were there on the ground, and it was one floor, the top floor of an old building that uh, caught fire. Yeah. Tell us what happened. Yeah, firstly, um, the firefighters, of course, have now left the scene. They've done their job. They've put out the fire, and we're told just for safety reasons, we should do the same thing by leaving the scene as well. About 200 people earlier on were evacuated from that four double story uh, building, uh, which, of course, of course, uh, caught fire on the top. Um, it's believed that this was as a result of someone who forgot to switch off the uh, cooking stove and it led to the building actually, you know, being engulfed in fire. Luckily, only one person had a minor injury who was treated by the paramedics on the scene, on, or on site rather. Uh, there is no casualties that have been reported, but of course the emergency services unit in Johannesburg has warned people to make sure that they switch off their gas stoves or the electrical stoves to avoid such an incident, to avoid inconveniencing other people. Some who are residing on the, on the fourth floor have said that they will now leave the building and try to get shelter elsewhere because we get a sense that the people who are residing at that building are homeless people and foreign nationals, though those who can afford accommodation as well. So it was quite a terrific story. But uh, when we left, we saw others going back inside the building. You saw as well some of the residents going back inside the building because um, the firefighters had, had completed and extinguished the fire which was uh, coming from that building. But let's take a listen to what the residents had to say earlier on and children, they were not aware of the fire. So I tried to save them, and I was the last person to jump up from the roof there. Wait, which floor did you jump from? Uh, this is the fourth floor, on the rooftop. You jumped from the fourth floor? Yeah, from there, going to the dirty things there to save myself. I see you also hurt your, your, your dad. Yeah. Just, just let me know. Exactly. Tell me, what... Did you try and get everyone out of this building? Was everyone evacuated? Everyone is out. But what I encourage them to abandon their property, save their life, take kids outside. And then I just kick the doors and take the woman and kids outside. That's what I did. You had an early start, uh, Pule. You were out in Ekuruleni yeah. in terms of the uh, police operation there where they confiscated equipment allegedly belonging to uh, the illegal miners in the Germiston area. What did the police actually confiscate? All right, so the usual, um, of course, is the uh, Penduka machines which are used for gold refining, right? Uh, there were a lot of tools that they uh, confiscated as well, which were allegedly being used by the Zamazamas. It's not the first time. Last week we were in Rivoli and Zamimpilo as well where we saw that shootout which took place between the illegal miners and of course and law enforcement. Uh, just recently we did a focus in Krukestorp on the impact of illegal mining on public infrastructure. I can tell you right now it's really not looking good, especially for places like Mohale City. There's a pipeline where we saw the illegal mining happening next to and we were told should that pipeline be damaged or vandalized, it would essentially mean the entire Mukhala city, or almost all of it, will not have uh, drinkable water. So these are some of the repercussions that could uh, go into that whole process. But thirdly, today we're in uh, Makausi, in Kurleni, in Chemistan, where the police and, of course, members of the Metropolis Department in Kurleni embarked on an operation to search and find some of the tools that are being used by Zamazamas. They do not affect any arrests. But we discovered a massive hole in that informal settlement where the miners use for illegal mining, essentially going into that hole as an entry point, which would then lead them to another mine where they'd continue with their illegal mining and come back up again. But quite concerning as well is that the law enforcement says residents are not reporting these matters as well, which is something they're currently looking into. But let's take a listen to what the city of Akurleni had to say regarding trying to put an end to this illegal mining. As a city, we've established the mining forum where we invite all stakeholders to come together under one roof, mining owners, um, SAPS and other stakeholders like the city, and we discuss some of the issues we have with illegal mining. As you know that um, legally, 
miners are required to close a mine and rehabilitate it after it's done. But we're having challenges with that. And you know that illegal mining is a bane to our society. It creates um, uh, what's the sinkholes. There's crime and criminality usually around those areas. And also, as you can see, there's a lot of water that's being wasted. And these are public services that are supposed to go to our residents, who are taxpayers, and you know they are law-abiding citizens. So it's important that we do operations like this to stamp out this crime. Mm. I mean, our South Africans uh, have every right to be skeptical about the police operation in Rivali in a bid to flush out illegal miners. At the moment, law enforcement agencies are continuing to crack down on the Zamazama operation, sealing the access tunnels that lead underground. But residents here in the south of Johannesburg want to know just how long the police will stay in their community to prevent the return of illegal miners.